Hello everyone. In this video, we will look into the basics of uh, wire harness modeling using FICO and I will go through a single example. Here is a typical workflow for performing cable modeling simulations using FICO. It starts with defining a cable cross section, which is basically what type of cable you want to define and define a cable path, basically a path which goes from say from A to B and you know, you define that giving a set of points. Then once we define the path and we define the cable cross section, next step is to add a cable harness. Choose the type of solution you wanted to solve, whether you're doing radiation analysis, irradiation analysis, or crosstalk, followed by defining connectors for the cable with appropriate number of pins. I will go through the steps as we go through the example. Once we created the cable connectors, then we need to create cable instances where we route the signals between the different pins of the connectors and the connectors are on either end of the cable. And then we have to define what type of termination we need. Basically, whether it's a 50 ohm termination or it is a voltage source, so on and so forth. That we will do in the uh, schematic part. And then finally, you have to define the request what you need FICO to calculate, whether you want to measure the induced voltage current, you can use probes, or you want to measure the near field or far field, which is radiating from the cable. In case if the cable is the aggressor, then we need to define those appropriately. So this is the typical workflow. So let's get straight into an example. In this example, we will be looking at an unshielded radiating cable. In this case, the cable acts as an aggressor. So without further ado, let's get into the examples. So let us begin creating our unshielded cable by setting the units to millimeters. And let's create a couple of variables under construct, variable, add variable, provide two variables. So here I'm using H and the other one is L. Construct an infinite ground plane by clicking on plane arrays, plane ground, and a PEC ground at Z equals zero. So this will create an infinite ground plane of PEC at Z equals to zero plane. So the next order of business is to create the cable path. To do so, we need to enable the cable tab first. So click on home and click on extensions, cables. This will bring up the cable tab here. Click on cables and let's start by defining a cable path. So I'm going to define a U-shaped path. So please follow. You just provide the corners and the corners, you know, as points. Say for example, your first corner is 00H. So it'll take a point in space where it is 00H. The second point is L0H. So you could see the line starting to form third point is L, L, H, and the final point is 0, L, H, and hit create. So this creates a U-shaped cable. The yellow dotted line shows the cable path. So now, once we define the cable path, the next step is to define what type of cable which will go along this path. For this purpose, we are choosing a single conductor cable with a conductive material of copper surrounded by some kind of polymer coating, which is having a dielectric constant of 3.1. So let's define those two. First, let's define media, metallic medium. So you can either define your own or choose from our media library. Here in this case, I want copper, so I'm choosing copper and I'm adding it to the model. And now let's define the dielectric medium of Epsilon R3.1 and without any loss basically and to give it name as coating, hit create. So now you have these two materials assigned within your CAD figure which are ready to be used. Now let's define a cable so under cable, under definition, click on single conductor. Here, choose the metal copper from the drop down list. Give it a radius, in this case, two millimeters. And of course, let's have an insulating layer around it. Choose the layer as coating, and let's have a thickness of 0.5 millimeters. This is typically your cable. This is what you will be assigning to this route, which you have created. So hit create. So this creates the required cross section. The next step is to define the cable harness. So click on cable harness. And then uh, we need to define cable connectors for both the ends. So click on cable connector. 
So that will take the first end of the cable. So in this case, since our cable is just a single conductor, so you just need one conductive pin for copper. So we leave it as pin one, hit add, and you need another conductor towards the end. So choose the end of the path and leave it as a single pin because it's just one pin and hit uh, create. So that creates two connectors, one at the beginning of the cable and one at the end of the cable. Next, we need to create a cable instance, basically giving uh, the signal path to it. So click on cable instance and say where your source and destination should be. So in this case, your connector one is your source and connector two is your destination. So that chooses this path and it assigns the single conductor which you have created to this path. So you just have to choose pins corresponding to the connectors. So remember we have single pin for connector one and single pin for connector two. So you just choose that. So this assigns pin one to the signal one, which is the copper. And so this pin one from source and pin one of destination corresponds to the signal and uh, which is copper. And this path is assigned to the cabling, which is the conductor, which we defined and hence click create. So this will create the path with uh, whatever definition we have given under the cable cross section. So next step, let's assign solution to the cable harness. So here we are looking at a cable which is radiating. So click on radiation, taking radiation into account. And we are using the MTL approach. Click OK. Next, we need to set up the schematic. So under cables, under view schematic, click on cable harness one. This will give you the schematic, what we require to complete. Here you can see that this connector one is on one end, connector two is on the other end, similar to here connector one and connector two. So now we need to give a source to this so that we can enable this cable to radiate. So under cable schematic, you have different components which you can add. And here let's add cable port. So click on cable port that will give you a port one. So add it to this end and provide a ground. And then the other end, we will have a resistor and provide a ground. So change the value of the resistor to 360 ohms. Next, we need to provide this port with a voltage source. So go back here to configuration under sources, click on voltage source that will automatically assign a voltage source to port one. So give it a magnitude of one volt and a reference impedance of 240 ohms and click create. Next, we need to request the fields, the near fields and the far fields from this cable. So click on request, click on near fields, give it the position where it needs to be. So in this case, I am looking for a single plane which follows this path, 20 points along the path, okay, hit create. So this basically computes the near fields in this rectangular region. And the next is far fields. So let's provide a region far field computation. Since uh, there is an infinite ground plane, it doesn't make sense to compute the fields below the ground plane. So I'm just computing the fields above the ground plane and I am centering it so that it falls around the cables. Yes, I forgot to give the increments. Let's do five degrees, hit create. So that creates the far field requests. Okay, another important part is to set up the frequency. So click on frequency, I'm giving it a range it goes a linear discrete point. So I'm going from 30 megahertz to 300 megahertz with 101 points and click OK. So that sets the range. So this completes our setup. The next thing is to run the simulation. I checked the validation. It all seems to work well. So now let's simulate. Before that, let's save this. Let's run. The simulation is completed. So let's go into PostFICO. Let's plot the near field to show the radiation. So there you go. That's the radiation from an unshielded cable due to a voltage source. We can also plot far field and keep it in dB to show. This completes this video. Thank you for watching.